Anusha and I'm back again with another video for you all and this one is going to be an announcement video! Emma from Drinking by the Shelf is hosting a readathon, the book of the Brave readathon which is starting from 11th May till 17th of May and I am more than happy to say that I will be participating as well because I really wanted to do as many readathons as possible because it's been helping me a lot in terms of my reading, number of reading books, otherwise it just gets too lucky because I have too many things to do and I die and then I'm like I end up regretting and feeling guilty and blah 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 so I got the opportunity I saw the chance and I was like you know what this is the time I have to participate again because it's anyhow fun so without much further ado I'm just gonna get into my TBR for the book of the brave readathon so the prompts for this readathon is very simple and they're just three basically so all I have to do is just follow these and see what all books I have picked up. So yeah, I don't think so I picked up a lot, but yeah. So the first is reading a book that intimidates you. I have a book that has been there on my TBR list and I've been meaning to read it, but I know it is like a little scary. Not scary, but it is like intense. The first book I'll be picking up for this readathon is The Menagerie by Saradindu Bandha. Bandhapadhyay. This is basically a translated book of Sharadindu Bandhapadhyay's stories. He used to write stories of Bumkesh Bakshi, which is somewhat similar to Sherlock Holmes or Hercule Poirot or yeah, Agatha Christie's writing style. Similar sort of genre. I have grown listening to his stories. My grandmother used to read them out. My mom still does because I, my Bengali reading is not that good or fluent. So yeah, I picked up the translation a couple of years back my sister recently finished reading this one and she really loved it and these are like a compilation of short stories so it's anyhow pretty good to read and like complete it and finish it it'll be easier and since these are detective stories i've always loved and enjoyed detective stories so yeah this is going to be my first pick read a book with a brave character obviously i'll be picking appointment with death by agatha christie See, I know with a brave character, you want to go into the intensity and blah, 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 blah. I don't, yeah, but I want to read Hercule Poirot because I love detective books. And like, Hercule Poirot is a brave character. He's a detective. He has to be brave. So yeah, I think I'm going to consider that. I'm going to consider that prompt and I should go around with this book. So yeah, this is definitely going to be my second pick. I think I'm going to be reading a lot of detective books. Doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. The last prompt, read a book with an end. H or S in the title. For that, I have picked a rather intense book. Apart from these like detective stories, I picked up a book which I've been meaning to read and I recently picked it up and I'm pretty excited about this. I have been meaning to read this book for a while. I have always been very much fascinated by Holocaust stories and Second World War and the entire Nazi period and what all happened during the harsh times. So I recently read Tatarist of Auschwitz and I loved it. I, I picked the sequel Silka's Journey as well which I, which is there on my TBR. I'll be reading it soon. I've been doing a lot of research on Holocaust survivors and um, what all used to happen, what all they have been through and I think it's nice to read more books on these things because it's good to share more knowledge or understanding just to understand what exactly happened during that time it's just i don't know i've always been fascinated and i've always it, 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 it's it's a magnetic pull you can say so yeah this is going to be my third book for the tbr so i think i'm not going to go over both like i did for my magical readathon and ended up not reading all of them just going and read just two which is like very weird so i think i'm going to go ahead with just three books which goes good along with those three prompts so i'm pretty much sorted yeah so yeah thank you guys for watching this video and i do hope you also join in for the readathon it'll be really fun and it'll be interesting i leave every single thing every single detail about the readathon in the description box below along with emma's channel link and everyone who is participating or like co-hosting the event it'll be all there in the description for you to go and see and easily thank you guys for watching this video it's a very short one because it's just just a tbr file so which is just three books so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll be back again with another one soon till then bye bye